And I think that will fundamentally change the way that we hire people and the people we employ. And Fareed, I'd actually like to get your kind of your thoughts on this is, you know, how does my, you know, who, as far as like building out my new team, all right, you know, I don't think it's enough that we're just hiring warm bodies because I think when we come back to our new norm, warm bodies is not acceptable. You know, how do, how do we start building this new team and what are we looking for in an employee now? Well, I think if, if, if uh, dealers thought about that very question, and I don't think enough do, unfortunately, but this, this, um, this unfortunate circumstance called the coronavirus really should be seized upon by dealers to do a thorough analysis of their need, of what they should have in their stock. They should act, use this time, and hopefully some of them are, analyzing who they've got, who are they going to definitely bring back, and who should they need. There's never been a better time for a dealer to use a, a, a blank sheet process and say, what is my dealership going to look like in the future? And Cam was alluding a bit to that about all this technology that's being introduced. Well, if you ever want you see, dealerships move on a month-to-month basis. That's as far as they see is the, the end of the month. This is the one time in maybe their lifetime they're really going to be able to really reassess staffing needs, advertising needs, technology needs. Um, so I hope a lot of them take this opportunity. It's not too late, and I really hope so. Um, Fareed, I'm, I'm curious, you know, because um, you guys evaluate and run numbers on so many dealerships out there. Yeah, over 900. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, just a few. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, from a labor perspective, is labor is one of the biggest expenses for a dealership, is it not? True, true, very much so. You know, one of the things when we're looking at uh, evaluating a business, we're looking at the evaluation of the business for two purposes. One, what can the person that owns the current asset walk away with? And number two, where are the cost savings for the newer person that acquires it? Because everybody's trying to look at the upside of, a, of an opportunity and one of the first things we come to is tell us about your key employees why do you have so many people in so, so yes it, it's very very true jason very good point.